Welcome Tauruses, this is the Gemini season. The Gemini season begins from May 21st until June 20th. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Let's see what is happening in the first month after your season, um, uh, uh, Tauruses. Please go and check out your full moon reading, Tauruses, and uh, um, see what is coming up for you, Tauruses, in this full moon. All right, Tauruses, it is very, very good in the sense um, a lot of people have been getting reverse energies, but reverse energies is just revealing things to you that should have uh, uh, been processed and it was not processed and it's now revealing a whole lot to you. So what we're seeing here is that we see some sort of a news, okay? This is a Prince of Wands. Whoever this Prince of Wands is and whatever is going on, this is a young Aries Leo or Sagittarian, or this could be some sort of a news um, that is going to be coming in about your business work or career. So if you're dealing with a Aries Leo or Sagittarian, or if you were waiting um, for some sort of a information, this information is is um it's as if you're waiting 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 so if you're waiting for information about a job or about position or about uh, um some sort of a good something um that should be coming in look under the energy of the rose so the cycle is not yet over and they are recognizing something about this uh, Aries Leo or fire sign person. The cycle is not yet over. So be aware of that. You could be having some sort of an issue. You could be waiting. But it's as if they have to um, resolve some sort of a situation. Then we see the energy of uh, um, some of you had wanted some sort of a contract. Some of you could be waiting and opening for some some sort of a job position or that sort of a thing. But I see success is going to be coming in, but it's not going to be coming in right away. Um, but sex is, success is available to come in, okay? So a lot of you could be waiting for some sort of a news about a new contract, some sort of a news about some sort of an offer, some sort of a business deal, some sort of a career move, um, some sort of a news about uh, um, promotion or that sort of a thing. So however this is coming up, this is uh, um, a situation where, um, you know, things take time, things take time, and there is no question about that. Things do take time, and it's as if the universe is saying, just wait, don't rush into this situation, um, just wait the time out. A lot of pieces of the puzzle needs to um, get in order, so it's as if some of you are waiting, waiting, waiting for um to receive some sort of a message some sort of a go ahead message and you're waiting and it's as if in the second week the energy of the world comes in and said you know just give it some times because things are taking longer than it should be so it could be um you know you're hoping to uh to fulfill some sort of a thing but i see um, some sort of a desire that you have. It's going to be um, taking double time or shift of time in order to create a, um, this desirable situation. And some sort of a shift needs to come up in order for you to um, make that change. And some of you, if you were worried whether or not um, you were going to be having a new contract in the week of uh, the 28th until the, the 3rd, um, yes, it is going to be happening. So just give it time, give it uh, um, some time. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's a waiting game for some of you because it's as if uh, there are other issues that is affecting whatever that you're waiting for to hear. There are other issues that is affecting um, it. So just give it some time, just wait it off. Um, a lot of you are thinking and wondering whether or not you are going to be receiving some sort of a new contract or that sort of a thing, or you're going to be getting a job, a, a job position because it's something, or if someone is on your team or if someone is on your side. And it is about, uh, you know, letting things go, giving it time. Um, it's as if 
you don't feel fulfilled, totally fulfilled with a person or that sort of a thing. And you, you need to give uh, them some time and space for them to work out whatever is going on. So it could be a co-worker. Um, it could be that you apply for something. Um, it could be that you're wondering about your contract, that sort of a thing. Um, and uh, it could be that you're waiting on someone to say whether or not they're going to be taking a job position or not. And that wait, that wait, that wait is what you're dealing with and what is uh, coming at you at this moment because it's as if this period is going to be some sort of a waiting period for some sort of a new contract, some sort of a new partnership. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, you have some sort of a worrisome feeling whether or not this person is going to be taking on what you are offer. So you could have made an offer to someone and it's as if this person is um, like they're not uh, completely wants uh, uh, to be apart but don't want to say it. Uh, but yet still they recognize, well, if I do, um, you know, it could be successful. So you could be open for some sort of a partnership. And you know that this partnership will be good, but it's as if this person is dragging it out, okay? In the third week, the third week, uh, we have the energy of um, the 4th of June until the 10th of June. And, uh, you know, it's about waiting for some sort of an answer, waiting to know if your contract is going to be extended, waiting to know if an offer that you have given is going to be accepted or waited to know um, whether or not uh, uh, someone wants to uh, collaborate with you, waiting to know whether or not this person is going to be taking up the offer that you have given them. So it's like a waiting game that is going on, Tauruses. And it is a, a situation where, you know, Tauruses, it is a situation that you can't make people do things. If they want something, they want it. If they don't want it, you know, let it go. It's, a, it's no big deal. And I see that you're going to be um, coming to the conclusion that, you know, I have been waiting and, uh, you know, this is like... I'm blocking up my progress in moving forward. So I'm just going to take the role and just move forward. Let them, that person figure out themselves. Okay. Then we're moving forward. And as we move forward, we are recognizing um, the energy of the six um, of uh, um, success. And this is the six of pentacles. And Taurus is, this is your energy as we get uh, um, to the last week. The last week is the week of the 11th until the 20th. And in this week, we have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Moon in Taurus. So Taurus is uh, whatever secrets uh, that people were keeping on the work floor or in business uh, against you, uh, you're going to be finding out. So it's as if... Uh, um, you know, this message, you were waiting to get some sort of a result over hearing from someone, whether or not uh, um, a project is going to be going forward, whether or not uh, um, some sort of association or business association, or you could have applied for some sort of a help, or you could have, um, you know, asked uh, um, for some sort of a, um, a status in order um, you know, apply for a position, waiting, 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 and that sort of a thing, or waiting to know whenever is the right time to make that move. It could be stocks. I see a lot of you who are in trades and that sort of a thing is waiting, waiting, waiting to see if the trade is going to be coming up. And there will be success, but right now, um, in this Gemini period, it is not going to be coming up because, uh, um, people are not, uh, um, letting you know exactly what is happening and transpiring. So a lot of you are dealing with a young Aries Leo or Sagittarian person. Uh, some of you, a cycle could be coming in for this person where this person might want to end some sort of a, a collaboration or a sell. But um, in whatever way this is going to be happening, success is going to be yours because... I see that uh, 
some sort of an information is going to be coming out about some sort of a contract, some sort of a partnership, and they could be finding out what a cancer have done. And this is the reason why um, a situation was blocked or a situation was not uh, um, processed. And they're going to be recognizing that a cancer is the one that has created a whole lot of issues and problems for you Taurus. So that is some sort of a news that you could be getting in this Gemini season that a cancer has uh, um, been creating a whole lot of problems and a whole lot of issues for you. And they're now going to be recognizing that a cancer is a person who has been stuntering your growth in order to grow and move forward, grow and move up that career ladder. It is a cancer who have been doing that. And I see it's as if you're going to be recognizing, oh my God, but you know, why would this person, because I really have nothing to do with this person, why would this person want to create this chaos? And you're going to be recognizing that there is a whole lot of secrets that this cancer had. This cancer had a whole lot of secrets. And whoever this cancer is and whatever is transpiring, um, a whole lot of information is going to be coming out about a, a young cancer and they're going to be recognizing what this person have done and how this person have created a whole lot of situations. So, um, wonderful, um, wonderful, um, energies. Um, it's because you're finding out why something wasn't moving along. It could be a project. It could be, um, some sort of an application that you had applied for. And now you're going to be recognizing that a cancer has been behind the whole thing all right tauruses so if you're waiting for a contract look at the dice if you um are wondering whether or not your contract is going to be extended look under the shoes um if you are wondering if you're going to be successful in a project in some sort of a business affair and that sort of a thing look under the ring it is going to be coming out if you're waiting for some sort of a news look under the rose and this is going to be good i do love you guys it doesn't really matter whatever is affecting you whether you're waiting on news about a contract look under the rose and under the dice so i do love you please like share these videos come check out and choose one of these symbols, whichever one that uh, um, draw, you're drawn to or whichever situation you have to deal with. Namaste. Yeah.